Okay guys, for today's strategy, I will be going over an amazing strategy created by one of my subscribers. This strategy can be used for trading in the financial market like the crypto, stocks, and forex. This trading strategy is incomplete though, but I could see some potential in it if done right. You can also note that these indicators are all from TradingView sites, as they are among the best indicators that would earn you a lot of money online. Please don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe, as it motivates us on the hunt for the holy grail. Now without wasting much of the time, let's jump right into it. For this strategy, we will be looking at the Bitcoin United States dollar. And we are on the 5 minute time frame. For this strategy, we will be using two indicators to identify the direction of the market. Let's go ahead and place the indicators on our chart. For the first indicator, go ahead and search for the false breakout by Z Ear Man. This indicator detects false breakout in real time. A false breakout occurs when the price moves through a certain level, but doesn't continue to accelerate in that direction. This is because the price does not have enough momentum and the buying interest at this level is not high enough to keep pushing the price in that direction, which often results market reversal. Now for the second indicator, let's add the multi-time period chart. As this indicator lets you see more time frames on one chart. So let's now quickly make the adjustments for this strategy to enable us make proper use of this strategy. For the false breakout, we won't be touching any settings, but on the multi-time period, double click on it to bring up its settings. Now on the input, untick the auto time frame. Then change the time frame to 30. When you are done, go ahead and click on the OK button. And we would have our chart looking like this. Now please note that you shouldn't use this strategy just yet, till you watch the video to the very end to understand the full details about this strategy. Now according to the author of the strategy, we would be opening a sell order if we have the false breakout red signal, and at the end of the multi-box time frame, we have it in red. Then we would go ahead and open a sell stop order at the lows of the box. Now, no stop loss and take profit levels were mentioned, but we would go over some few trades to see how it really did. But before we do that, personally, I found that adding a momentum-based indicator should do a good job for this strategy. So let's add the ADX and DI to the chart. We would work with it as well. Double click on the indicator and untick the DI plus and DI minus. Go ahead and click on the OK button. Now, the ADX is above the 20 threshold line. So we would be taking this trade. For the fact we use this highs and lows of 30 minutes time frame, I suggest using a lower RR ratio as a good idea. As if we place the trade at this lows of the box, and the highs using the 30 minutes time period bar serving as our stop loss with our take profit levels at 1.2 times the risk. We see we would have made a profit. As we move forward, we see we had a buy signal here. And exactly the opposite is true for a buy trade. We see we met our conditions here as we have a green false breakout signal and the 30 minute time period box is on green. Please note that we had our trend meter below the 20 threshold line, so we would not be taking this trade here, as you can see that the ADX indicator stopped us from taking this loss. So let's move on. Notice we got a new sell order at this point. So if we had taken this trade, we would have got our trade triggered at this point. Let's now check if we had our take profit levels hit. And we can see it was successful.
We see we got another one here, and conditions were also met. This trade would have also been triggered at this point. And we see we had the trade in our favor. Now, the main aim of making this video is actually to show this multi-time period indicator. As I know a lot of you might not have heard of it. This indicator's job is to let you see more time frames on one chart. Now for the settings, make sure you untick the auto time frame, as when auto option is selected, the time frame of the indicator is chosen automatically based on the chart time frame, while ignoring the time frame drop down. And the automated time frames are on one day for any chart time frame below one day, one week for any time frame starting from one day up to one week, and so on. So make sure you untick this option to be able to make use of any time frame above the selected time chart. And the calculation is amazing as well, as it gives calculation on true range if selected, high and low range if selected, or high can ashy high and high can ashy low for chosen period. Now like I said earlier, I would not advise you to use this strategy yet, until proper back testing using a demo account has been made. As this multi-time period chart has a limited range view. And also, if you have ways in which you could improve the strategy for better use, then let us know in the comment section. Don't forget to also check the link to the spreadsheet below, as it contains a lot of strategies back tested on this channel. Okay traders, that's it for today's video. Make sure to like, share and subscribe if you found this content helpful. See you in another video.